what's up guys and welcome to my quick guide on how to make a tool station and you could use this for anything like mine carts or iron doors pretty much whatever you can figure out you can use it for it's very it's actually kind of complex but not very and it didn't take me too long to actually invent it so what happens is you throw your iron ingots in right here or gold ingots or whatever you want them to pay if you want to have the exact same tick layout as me, you're going to have to use have like two deposited to actually have be the same. Otherwise, you're gonna have to mess mess with ticks, and it gets really really confusing. And then there's basically throw it in. It goes through here. It goes in there. And then I'll show you stuff later. And if it's not an iron ingot or a gold ingot or um, whatever you're using it will go through and hit, go into this chest hit this button to activate it and this is an L indicator um, light and then the collected stuff goes down here into this chest which you could pretty much put anywhere with item elevators stackers silos whatever you want so the one thing that i would recommend about this is building it deep underground because even this can actually get a lot more compact if you try but I did a lot of testing and a lot of modding and changing so I just really didn't want to mess with anything and it just kind of ended up like this so good enough for me because this is only a test so what you do is you throw your item in here they go in there they go out there and see that flashing that indicates that the ingots or whatever went through that hopper right there that hopper so then you just go to your button and then you can see that there's mine carts on each spot and make sure they're angled in the direction that you want them to go so down is they'll go forward basically because if you have them up then they'll move backwards and it gets really screwed up and if they have them flat they won't move at all and the stupid time of um, day is going away so times, uh, no times bam okay <laughs> I love that okay so all you do is hit this button wait bam you can see how all the minecarts shifted down one and then this is basically what back here would be invisible and this is what would be available to get in the minecart so you get in do that just whatever go to your next place or whatever I don't care and then this is where you need to this is where you would not actually use this um, these few actual activator rails or what are they called I can't remember what they're called but yeah I think that's what they're called let me see power rail that's it like you would use like three I would say if you have a person in it because it would stop it instead of keep going because one isn't enough but you could see how it all shifted down and then this one became available and then this is where the stuff would collect and I actually believe I have a lot of other stuff in here so allow me to collect this and then we will run it again I'll show you another session or thing that I could go through and I have no idea why there's an arrow in there whatever so you see at, like if you have something behind a door like an iron door right here you can see it's just off the same um, it's same wire that goes up to all these and you shall see Oops. So, throw your items in. With the ticking or flashing. Okay. Hit the button and bam. You can open it. So, that's basically what happens. And I will go show you how you. That you did get your two ingots. And I will show you how I did this. So first of all, just testing, you're going to want to use something like a um, minecart track or something. Like, it's really simple. No, I'm going to get rid of this dispen um, dropper right here, because it's really annoying. 
Bam. That's the only thing that ticks when it's not active. Because some reason I have a dropper down here. Right there. It does not tick. I don't know why. Just, I don't know. So, I will start from the bottom here. I have a timer, just a, um, or a clock. It goes really fast. Like, not so fast, it like starts glitching and stuff, but I don't even know why I built it so low. It's because I had like a way bigger timer way down below because it was pistons that shifted, but I, it just didn't seem practical. So I raise it up most of the way, so on and so forth. And it goes to a repeater, which goes through the block into a torch and right above is a block of red or a piece of redstone dust with a dropper next to it facing out but might as well get into the main part so here are the two main hoppers which are going to do most of the sorting unless if you want to add something like this so on this one you will add five or 20 of whatever you want i would recommend something like bedrock where no one can really get because that way people can't cheat the system and put like a stone in and two stones in and get a minecart so you want to make sure you do something like that and then make sure you have two of whatever item you're going to use and then this one just leave empty now you're going to put three what are they called Comparators. I cannot remember the name. I never know why, but I just can't. Put them facing out. One of this one in the back, and then two of the one that's facing down into the dropper, which is being timed. And then you'll take this one, put two um, repeaters right there. Make sure they're right up against it. This one on three and this one on four, or vice versa and then have it go down around and then have it go into a AND gate right here with a, another repeater and you can see three torches, one redstone in the middle, so on and so forth you should know that, it's basic and next you're going to take this one and put two pieces of redstone dust see how it's only powered by one now if you add another two blocks to this, so there's a total of 23, it will expand that signal by one, and then it will catch that repeater and go down here. And then this repeater is set to four ticks, and then it goes down to this piston, which is connected to the AND gate by a um, four, three tick repeater. And then you can see it's just a block on the end with a repeater that's going to go through it and then some dust on the other side and then I'll continue that line in a minute now you're going to take this final oh, what are they called? Compa comparators god I cannot remember the name so I don't know why it's, don't shut up I can hear you judging me <laughs> take that put two pieces of redstone dust a repeater on standard ticks um, and then go down another two repeaters worth or two ticks worth I don't care how because I don't. I just don't want to change all this up, and have it go into the other side of the AND gate. And now, that will when that activates both sides, this will shift out and this will go through here and then just go on to your um, final line. But none of this would be useful if I didn't show you how it was powered. So you have your button. I would recommend a button. Nothing else. And then you would go just like repeater if necessary if you're doing something like this. Okay, this is where you start doing stuff. So you put a torch. And then right next to it, you put three repeaters. Two of them on maximum ticks and the final one on normal ticks, standard ticks. That goes into this one um, hopper that's on the side that has a two comparators yes and then you'd have a dust that goes down and just whatever you can do to get to the other side I just went down and under and then have it connect to that hopper with a repeater and on standard ticks and that is basically it 
so here I just have this is where all the, it connects through here and then goes out and then I just brought it over here because it's the closest to the beginning and then I had that go to that and then I build some um, redstone stairs had it connect to each power rail like so and then you can also connect these along for a much longer route if you have like a massive city and a lot of people using these so that way you always have mine carts that are back up and then what I would also do is have like an exit side like let's see yeah, I guess I do like just like have this kind of thing like go off the side for people to get off or whatever because you don't want them going through all your redstone and getting all mixed up and accidentally knocking something down because that is very bad so that is basically the main system and I'm going to show you like a very easy way for a slight like form of an item sorter and to get the actual um, only the ingots in or whatever you're going to use I just keep saying ingots because that's what I have that's what I'm using so up here probably near here like near this centerpiece maybe I should patch that up you're going to build a um you're going to put a piece of ice let's see if I could get a good angle so it's pretty much just one two three four five like you can kind of see it's really hard to explain but it's like a just a water slide that goes down and then there's a piece of ice a hopper that's directly connected and the rest of it is ice so you don't get mixed up and then at the very end is a as a hopper at the very end of the line and then that just brings there so here I might as well show you I don't remember if I showed you or not but you can see that doesn't go in it just goes straight down bam and then you could get out of there if it, you messed up or something I don't know but what you do here is probably I would recommend one or two spaces in you add a hopper that goes straight down and then fill that up with these can I believe can be anything I just put them like that and then two of whatever you're gonna use on the very first spot and then you're going to put another hopper below that facing a chain or however you're gonna get it to that main chamber which is what drops it into the hopper below which is right there and then you're also going to want to make sure you have a way to um, remove the items from the hopper and the easiest way is just a dropper with a timer that's literally the easiest way and stupid time bam okay so the bottom hopper you okay first let before you put that hopper in you want to make sure you set the redstone for this so you're going to set it up like this this redstone is just for these rails so you're going to have a comparator out facing the top um, hopper, which will then have two pieces of redstone dust, a torch on the end, a gap with a piece of dust on top. So you can see it's just a one block gap. It would look like that. If you had that, you could place a block, so on and so forth, whatever. And then you're going to add a torch on the side two more pieces of redstone dust and a torch up underneath that bottom piss um hopper i mean and that's literally that's all that's all you have to do and on the bottom one you put 64 of whatever you're using and then fill the rest with something i would recommend bedrock so they can't cheat the system or anything again like this and then like this and then like this okay and then this um dropper when it, it it just it's not what's making the ticking i don't know why i don't know why that one doesn't make ticking but i'm not complaining so you could that's what that um again that's what that uh clock is for it just goes down here 
and then whenever anything goes in it, it just pushes it out this is why it goes underneath around here and then see here this is where like the water line would end and I didn't want to lower it again so all I did was add a sign and a water source block on the other side so it pushes it that way with ice underneath so that way the items slide across and continue to the next water source block which then ends up over here like so again you could configure this pretty much any way you want completely underground completely above in a giant building you don't have to have this indicator le or block i'll just show you see com comparator um that this belay isn't mandatory whatever you want so on just go up bam so that is basically how you do it and i hope you like this tutorial this quick guide I think it was quick, I can't tell what time it is, I didn't remember what time I started, but whatever. So here's one thing, I would, before I forget, one thing I would add. Make sure you add a couple signs saying that you have to add only two of whatever you're using. So only use two gold ingots anymore slash less will break it, because that basically is what will happen. Make sure lamp blinks twice, and I'll show you just real quickly how to fix it. Like if someone activates it without, you can see there's nothing that comes out, and then it will it won't allow them to do anything after. So all you do is go here, and then you can see that the two iron ingots are gone, but they're gonna end up in your chest. And then just add two more. Make sure you only have availability of that, so that way they can't mess around with stuff. And then voila, it's fixed. That's literally all you have to do. So. I hope you like this guide. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see, any ideas you want to see. And hope you like it. See you later.